Anju to to Shumaru, or the Littlest Warrior. We're going back to the style of Sabura Sasuke, even with a couple reused designs from that film. This is another Japanese period piece, based on Sancho the Steward. The story centers around tragedy. This became the focus after Toei saw the success of the Rin Rin in the Snow scene from Sayuki. They wanted to focus a film on that concept, with a more dour tone. Thus this film became a story around slavery, but it doesn't succeed. The animation quality has taken quite a hit since last time. The narrative is full of dissonance, and there's a serious cut between what is a more adult-focused story and the child content that's layered on top of it. We have slapstick with the animals next to scenes of slavery, and they don't connect. Even worse, later on, they start to intertwine in twisted ways. The animals are drugged and the children are kidnapped, with one of them being thrown into the river and dying, weirdly becoming a mermaid and killing the captors, but I'm not very sure what that's about. And something like this happens later on in the film as well, where this relatively straightforward story suddenly has the bigger sister transforming into a bird and disappearing. It was very much out of left field. I don't know if these two are metaphors for suicide, but I've got nothing on this. Animator Otsuka does bring some punchy cuts, though one of them closer to the end just makes absolutely no sense in the context of the film. <laughs> This is just all a mess. Just, please stop. Please. Please stop shooting arrows. Just, just stop. Just just stop. Half the family seems to die. And then towards the end, the young boy finds his way to the emperor and stays there for a couple years while his family are still suffering. And it's not just me. The animators who worked on this film flat out rejected it, saying it encouraged suffering quietly, promoting the ruling class knowing better, and stepping on other people to achieve your goals. This film does seem to be attempting to go for baffos, and yeah, I mean, I didn't really know where it was all going, and it does feel somewhat of a real take on the situation, but it's so needlessly bitter, I don't understand why they would choose this direction, especially compared to their other output. Now, that's not to say that family films can't approach darker subjects. In England, we have quite a few. It's coming. What do you mean? The field. It's covered with blood. This film fails at being compelling in that way. It just becomes unpleasant to watch. It's kind of creepy. Worst of all, it's just boring. So yeah, I don't recommend this, but hopefully tomorrow's film is better. Hayashi o nukete haru ga kita.